Hello and welcome back to another one of my Art of Book reviews. As usual, we're going to be taking a side track from Art of Books into comic books. And this is one from a bit of my uh, obscure shelf where I found a book that I wanted and didn't really know anything about it or the author and bought it anyway. I got this book probably 10 years ago. I would say 15, but I don't really know when it was published. Because it might have been 15. Um, it's Jim Henson's Tale of Sand, the lost screenplay by Jim Henson and Jerry Jewell, who was a big deal on The Muppet Show, um, as realized by Ramon K. Perez, who I had to look up. He's a Canadian cartoonist, and he's done a lot of illustrations um, in a lot of different ways. He is the managing director of the Royal Academy of Illustration and Design. You can find him at the website there. Um, but he's also a multiple Eisner and Harvey Award winning cartoonist. He... Um, is probably best known for this, but you can find on several different sites some original art of his that you can buy, and it's from uh, Spider-Man and X-Men, and so he's not he's not um, not without credits. I mean, seriously. So when I bought this, I had no idea what I was going to expect, and it, I'm sure the spine is very light colored, um, but I'm sure that's from sitting on my shelf for in the sunlight for a long time. I. I bet the spine used to be the same color as the rest of the book. Goodness gracious. Um, it's got this bookmark ribbon elastic on it, which is fun, but I would prefer books didn't have that kind of thing, personally. Um, it's got an ISBN because I bought it from Amazon, I believe. Legit. It's a legit, legit book. Um, that being said, some of my favorite books are not legit, legit books, so there's nothing against them not having ISBNs, but that just means you can find this guy on Amazon, or at least you could 10 years ago. I'll have to look it up. So, 8 by 11 and a half. Definitely a hard cover. A thick hard cover at that. Like, there's no, there's no stopping that. So when you first open it up, you get... Come on, let go. Good suction, I guess. You get this black and white photo of Jim Henson as a younger man. And then Ramon's sketches over here, interposed... Um, and it's right on the end page, which I love. End page is done up. Um, so then you get this title opening page with the hint of the screenplay behind it. Yeah, screenplay. And then forwards and printing dates. Still the forward. Note of introduction. And then you're right in it. With the drawings. Very skilled drawings. I mean, you would expect him to be skilled drawing for X-Men and Spider-Man and other graphic novels. But very skilled drawings. Good colors, too. I mean, it's almost... When I first got it, I was a little shocked because it's really nothing Muppet-esque or Labyrinth-esque or uh, Dark Crystal-esque about it. But it is, it is a very interesting work all by itself. I love how it's got very little words in the beginning. And then you pop right in with these really well-realized characters. Love the map with the holes in it. Um, I never am brave enough when I do my comics to split out into so many different... But he's doing it really well. I love this box in a box on top of the big background page. That's a big, that's a big fun. I love the... It looks very colorful, but at the same time you can see that it's got actually quite a few colors in it. it or like... It has very few colors. There were he's working in a in a real tight spectrum. Love this. Um, and for a screenplay, a written screenplay, it has surprisingly few, if any, words at all. The whole thing is told in pictures, which is so so hard to do. Much much respect for Ramon. I love the colored line art on the, like, purple line under the purple lines, orange. And that's all the same guy. That's very clever. Very clever use of storytelling. And it's a long book. Like, it, it's, it's a chunk, it's a chunk of story here. Hmm. The screenplay behind some of the panels there. A callback to... I mean, hey, if you need reference for this kind of not 
a masculine male, so a, ma a masculine male character, very Indiana Jonesy. There's quite a few references in here that are very well done. Do not trace, obviously, but couldn't help to couldn't hurt to study them. And this, how effective is that? <laughs> so found a light switch on a rock. Turns the lights on and off. Legs coming out of the the panel above. It's really it's really just an, an ingenious use of shapes and colors and silhouettes to convey story. And of course it's a chaotic story as you can tell. Lots happens. Love cars. What a good car. I'm sad that it's on fire. <laughs> Afterward. And then my favorite part of any good book is the process work. How much work went into this, really? I mean, seriously. This is an insane amount of work. Yeah. I mean, if you're interested in Slightly Obscure, that's a good one.